What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the J-Tips collaboration with Saucony on the Grid Shadow 2 What's the Occasion in this brown colorway. So this is the second of the two colorways of the Saucony Grid Shadow 2 in collaboration with Bronx-based creative J-Tips. Releasing first at ComplexCon earlier this year, they're set for a worldwide release on December 8th and they're retailing for a price of $160 US dollars or $200 here in Canada. And I want to give a huge, huge thank you over to Saucony Canada. Thank you so much for sending me both this pair as well as the blue one, which I also reviewed on my channel a couple days ago. So for anyone that's already watched my review of the blue colorway, essentially this is going to be the exact same review, so you can skip ahead to the on feet portion of this video and I totally won't be offended. But for anyone else, I'm going to be giving you guys a complete detailed breakdown of this shoe, so let's get right into it. So this colorway is called the brown colorway, and this is part of the What's the Occasion pack. So the blue one is also nicknamed Wear to a Date, whereas this one is nicknamed Wear to the Party. And if you're familiar with J-Tip's work, you know he is not shy to add color to his collaborations, which explains why both colorways are extremely loud, extremely vibrant, and head-turning. So just like the blue pair, this comes in the exact same box. So we have this purple lid with both J-Tip's and Saucony Originals co-branding, on this front side, it's done in green, along with the name of this collection, What's the Occasion? And then on the back side of the box, we have j -tip Silhouette printed on three times. And then on the bottom of the box, we have these hand-drawn graphics. So long story short, basically, this box is as crazy as the shoe itself. So jumping into the details of the sneaker, on the toe box, you can see the base layer of the shoe. This is covered in this cream colored mesh, and this is an open style mesh, but there's a secondary layer underneath, which is more of a tightly wound mesh. Right above this, we have this dark peach colored nubuck, and the same nubuck covers the front toe cap, and we have the word forever embroidered on the lateral side in this light blue color. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this brown shaggy suede, which has a very long haired stringy look to it. Covering the eyelets, we have this hot pink or magenta colored nubuck, and then the top two eyelets are covered in a brown colored TPU. And then beneath this, in between the magenta nubuck, we have this green synthetic layer, which forms the shape of the Saucony stripe, and we have these mesh panels next to it. Underneath this, surrounding the bottom of the shoe and wrapping around the back, we have more of that brown colored shaggy suede, and we have this textured green colored layer here as well. So this loops around the back of the shoe and we have the word Savior, which is J-Tip's clothing brand. This is embroidered on the bottom of the heel in blue. We have this globe logo and then this multicolored flower embroidery at the top and it's surrounded by this cream colored mesh at the very top of the heel. As far as the laces go, so these come with two different lace options. The standard lace that they come with is a flat style cream colored lace, but they also come with a magenta or hot pink colored lace as well if you want to give the shoe a little bit more pop. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in this woven material, which kind of feels like canvas to the touch. And we have Saucony grid branding embroidered on the top of the right foot in light blue, and the word tips and this flower logo embroidered on the left foot in green. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in a cream or off-white colored mesh. And then taking a look at the insoles, so these come with your typical foam line insole. It's done in this brown color, and we have Saucony grid shadow branding pressed onto the heel of the right foot. And then on the insole for the left foot, we have this globe logo in this neon green color, along with the words, wear to the party on the forefoot of the left foot. So the upper of the Grid Shadow 2, it sits atop this full length chunky foam midsole, and the midsole is painted in this dark beige color, but we have this magenta hit on the heel. Incorporated within this foam midsole, but not visible to the eye, we have Saucony Grid technology, which helps with impact protection and energy return. And then taking a look at the bottom, this outsole is crafted using a mix of black and magenta colored rubber. We have this triangular shaped traction pattern on the forefoot and this foam wedge in the middle. And on the heel, we have this diamond shaped black rubber layer along with the Saucony wordmark right above it. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit exactly the same as the blue pair. So I feel like for most people, if you don't like a really snug one-to-one -one fit, I'd recommend going up a half size. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Saucony Canada sent me both pairs in a size 10, which is true to size, and they fit me. They are more on the snug side, so if you're in between sizes, go up to the bigger size. And unless you like more of that snug, one-to-one -one exact fit, in that case, you can go true to size, but for everyone else, again, go up that half size just to be safe. Moving on to the comfort, so these are decently comfortable, they're not anything mind-blowing or amazing, but they do the job for an everyday casual use sneaker. 
The midsole is quite thick, so straight out of the box you can feel a decent amount of that softness underfoot and it still feels pretty supportive all things considered. So it's not an extremely comfortable sneaker, but again just for a shoe you're just going to be walking around in, they're going to be perfectly fine. Last but not least, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality I have to say was very impressive. Just like the blue pair, the materials used on this shoe, I thought they were great. Everything from the long-haired shaggy suede, the new bucks, and even the variety of the synthetic materials, I came away feeling very impressed. It definitely feels like an elevated shoe in terms of quality, but low-key, a lot of people don't know that Saucony sneakers, especially for the price point you're paying, you're getting very good quality materials, especially when you compare it to some of the other major brands that often cut corners when it comes to quality. So it's really no surprise to me when it comes to this Saucony release. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, same thing, it was pretty flawless. The stitch job was really good, it was pretty much free of glue stains, and the paint job was solid as well. So I really had no complaints with this shoe, I was very happy with how these turned out in real life. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. Just like I said in my review of the blue colorway, this collection is extremely loud, extremely vibrant, and bold. So because of that, it's not going to be a shoe for everyone. I feel like a lot of people either love this collection or they hate it. It's kind of hard to find someone that's kind of in between. And if you're asking for my opinion, I'm definitely more on the love side. J-Tips really knocked this collection out of the park. He is not afraid to add his own personality and colors on this shoe. And clearly, that's represented well here. Between this brown colorway and the blue one, my initial thought when I first saw the preview images was that I was definitely leaning more towards the blue pair. I'm just more of a blue colored guy as opposed to brown and pink. But actually after getting these in hand and trying them on foot, I might actually be leaning more towards this pair instead. There's something about the color combination of these cream, brown, magenta, and green hits. It's just a really random color combination, but seeing this in real life, it actually kind of works. So this is more of the risky pair between the two. If you want to play a bit more safe, I think the blue colorway is the safer choice. But there's really no right or wrong answer in this pack. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this J-Tips Saucony Grid Shadow 2, what's the occasion? Between the two colorways, which of the two do you guys prefer? Leave your comments down below and let's talk about it. As usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram at esco8, follow me on X or Twitter at sean.go spelled out, and visit my website as well at seangoca Before I end this video, another huge, huge thank you goes out to Saucony Canada. Thank you so much for the love and sending me over this pack. And until next time, I'll catch all of you in my next review.